Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone, over here at the Wild Time Kitchens with our resident amazing superwoman and mum, our dietitian and nutritionist, Amanda Knightford. Yes. How are you, darling? I'm good. How are you? Good. Feeling lean. Yes, I That's love that. That's what we like to hear. I love that. Now, I'm cooking some meat. That's right. We're cooking some meat. We actually have um, a really lean meat. It's February, so it's hard yeah. health month, right? You yeah, bet. We're definitely. So we've got a 96% lean meat by uh, Laura's Lane, who's right here in... Uh, yeah, we like her today. meat. I buy that. Yes, it's really good. So we are making a um, a kind of like twist on an Italian meal. Um, what? Pasta. Pasta. Okay. But we're not going to use pasta because pasta is high in carbs and, you know, it's definitely going to um, create the bloat oh, in the no. belly. So we don't want that. So we're going to be using some zoodles. Yep. Making some zoodles right here. Um, I have a little zoodle maker. Which I love. Yeah, this one's really super easy. I love this one because my kids will help me in the kitchen use it. Um, it and it's a little bit easier than those big, like, crank ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you want me to have a go with that? Yeah, go ahead and make some zoodles. Um, a couple of tips. So we made a little bit beforehand, and you can see I left the skin on it. Um, I love the skin. It's got a ton of fiber. You can see it's super green. The darker the, the color. In a I don't think I'm very good at this. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> you, you just kind of have to get it started. Um, what, what are you doing, I don't know Troy? what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll make it work. But basically what happens is, is um, if you take the skin off, then your kids don't know the difference, I swear. They don't know it's vegetables? Yeah, it looks just like pasta. Um, so another tip that I have for... You're so good at I that. I don't know, I don't know. Um, is what you can do is like half and half. So I'll make half pasta and then incorporate half of the zoodles in I there. love that. Yeah, so I love they get that. a little bit of veggies in there with um, the pasta. They don't really know a difference. Did you show everybody our meat chopper? No, I didn't. You didn't give me a chance because I was zoodling. <laughs> you were trying so to zoodle. Talk about this because I love this idea. This is such a great tool if you use a lot of ground beef or ground chicken or mm, ground turkey. I do. It just it kind of chops up the, the, the beef so much easier than if you have like a fork or like a spatula. Uh, uh, t well, I use a wooden spoon and I'm yeah, and let me tell you, that thing is like three dollars at, at the from? store. At Whole Foods yeah, or somewhere? Yeah, you can get them at Kroger. Oh, or okay. Or, yeah, at the grocery store. Okay, so we're gonna make a simple sauce. Let me tell you a little bit about picking a good sauce in a jar. Okay. What you want to look for is a jar that has a um, less sugar. Pasta sauce tends to have a lot of added sugar in it, and it's just not necessary if we add like garlic and and um, herbs. You're, 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 you're the Italian community is not going to love you <laughs> right now. We like a handful of sugar <laughs> in, the like sugar in the pasta sauce. So this is not sugar free. It does have three grams of sugar. Okay. But it's got two grams of fiber. It's got six carbohydrates. It's a really good choice. A lot of the um, a lot of the pasta sauces out there have up to you know 15 grams of carbs, which I is not good. I never thought to look on the back, but I always make my sauce from scratch. Oh wow! Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm doing like a really quick trick. Um, again, I've got spinach here. I've got some some of the like little chunks of zucchini. Yeah. I've got even some shredded carrots, and I'm gonna blend it up in my pasta sauce. Really? And my kids are not gonna know the difference. So, okay. Look at that. I never thought of that. Yeah. So I'm I'm adding extra vegetables, extra nutrients, extra vitamins to the pasta sauce. They've got zoodles in their noodles. They don't know about it. So it's a really great way to incorporate more healthy items into your kids without them knowing. I never thought of adding like that. Yeah, super simple. And really, you can you can really add anything you want, any vegetable that you want. This is from Trader Joe's? Yeah, that's a Trader Joe's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So then I like all it. we have to do is, I would blend that just a little bit more because you yeah. you, the kids, they're not going to like to see those no. green chunks, but that's for sure. We're going to have to do that in break. Yeah, exactly. All right. Appreciate we'll you. Up, it's going to be gorgeous. If you want to find out more information, head over to MiddayKentucky.com. Click on the recipe tab. It'll all be there for you, Amanda Nightbird. Tell everyone how to find you. You can find me on Instagram at Amanda Nightbird. I'm on Facebook. You're everywhere. Everywhere. Stay lean, everyone. Back after this short break.